Okay, we've just got the one side left to do. Um, if we spin this round, I hope you can see, we've uh, completed this side, which uh, considering the size of uh, a couple of these stickers, wasn't actually too bad. So we'll get on and finish this side. Um, as you can see I've already started with this crown piece in place and the next piece to go on is this great big long thing which shall we say goes on roughly round about there and uh, we'll get started. seven stuck on and then we come to uh, this next piece which goes here something along the lines there but uh, if you notice there is a wedge cut out and you do have to cut that out there's no getting around it because it uh, folds round and joins up with the lower bit as you will hopefully see shortly. Unfortunately there's a bit of orange showing here which I do think is me not cutting it quite enough so uh, we'll sort that out in a few minutes um, but for now those are the first two bits on and can't really see but uh, yeah they just about line up I don't think they're out that much if you can see there Uh, I've already put the uh, rear spoiler on. Um, there is this decal that they want you to put on. But I don't know, I just 
didn't fancy too much chrome so I've left that off um, but I will be putting one last bit of chrome on over the top there shortly but uh, I think we'll finish off first this side piece With this last sticker in place, that's finished the bodywork for me. I'm quite happy with it. It's looking quite good. And, uh, the red does actually go quite well, if you ask me, with the orange. A um, couple of things I think, on hindsight, I would prefer to have left this and sprayed this orange as well, the flatbed part. But hey, it's now a gloss black. And then if we take it off, we've got a few things on the underside. The first one is, you probably not really be able to see it. See if I can get some light on it. But uh, I've put my little plate I made in off the spare bit of polycarbonate for the rear wing. I've then also gone round with some of this uh, fiberglass reinforced tape around the body holes and I may well put some round these corner bits here I haven't quite decided yet I may give it a run first um, so yes I'm not going to spray the uh, windscreens just yet because uh, I'm gonna hopefully try and fit a driver in it he's gonna be a touring car driver if I do get him in and that's about it for that. Um, one thing that uh, does concern me, if I put the shell back on, or the actual mounting point for the rear. Uh, hopefully you can see that these body posts, although they just about uh, clear the uh, back of the uh, shell, um, there isn't actually enough room, if we go this direction, uh, to fit the R-clip through that way. And obviously you can't get it in that way. Having looked at the manual, they show um, you're putting the R-clip in the top hole there, this direction, and then it just it just sits there like that. So the uh, finger pull ring is just loosely sat touching the side of the uh, flatbed wall so uh, it's a bit rubbish if you ask me you know I'm sorry I do love Tam here but they could have come up with a better solution than that if you ask me but uh, we'll see how it goes and see how uh, quickly it uh, scuffs the polycarbonate up and so with that that's the end of this uh, build series on the Tamiya Acroshot DTO 3T I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I look forward to seeing you uh, on my next video, whatever that is. Thanks for watching. Bye.